This is Sean Conrad. So what's the deal with unconscious bias? What does that mean? And more importantly, whose fault is it? Is it the person's fault who is applying this unconscious bias? Or is it their parents and their upbringing? Who, whose fault? And what is unconscious bias, really? Like, what is it? Um, sometimes people are in a conversation and maybe they're talking to someone who is of the Jewish faith and they feel compelled to say, I had good friends who were Jewish. What, where, where, does that, where does the need to say that come, come from? I had a black best friend when I was in elementary school. What about when you, as an adult, you see a kid, a little younger, and you smile, and the kid looks at you like, whoa, is the kid just being mean, like just being a jerk? Or have his parents and family brought them up in a way that makes them totally unfamiliar with somebody who looks like you? Unconscious bias. Hmm. What about, what about when you say hi to somebody who you saw as they were walking towards you was saying hi to people? And then when they get to you, they don't say anything. Well, what, ha what happened there? What, what happened? What happened? Did, did they miss you? Did they run out of hellos? Maybe they ran out of hellos. If they had one more, I'm, I'm sure they would have said hi to you. I'm sure. Or is it some unconscious bias that just happens. It just happens because of how they were raised or, or maybe they just kept themselves in their own bubble or a specific bubble. I remember going to work for a client of mine. And every time I went to that office, I sat literally I would say seven to 10 feet away from an African-American young lady and a white man. And I made sure that when I got there, like I always do, I say good morning and good night. Good night, y'all have a good evening, y'all. Good morning, good morning, how are y'all doing? And I would get a response from the African-American woman and I would not get a response from the guy, from the, from the white guy. And I was just like, I, I, I was going through these things in my mind like, okay, don't be angry about it. Maybe he didn't hear you. Maybe he's busy. Maybe, I, I, hmm, I, I started running out of maybes, to be honest with you. I started running out of maybes. So I was, I just made the decision like, hey, it is what it is, even though I, I hate that term, but it is what it is. No skin off my banana. I don't care if he doesn't say hi to me or good night when I'm talking to, to everybody. I'm looking right at you. But one day I was in the elevator and I hit the floor I was going to and the doors were closing and then a hand came in and guess who walked into the elevator? It was the guy who never says good evening or good morning when I clearly say good morning, have a good night. And he stood there and I stood there and I was like, I'm, I've given up. I'm, I'm not going to go out of my way to make sure this guy likes me or cares for me. And as we were going down, it didn't stop on the next floor. It was just this long ride. 
And lo and behold, he felt compelled to say, hey man, I'm so sorry. I didn't get a chance to meet you and, and I know you know, you sit right there and I just didn't get a chance to say anything to you. I'm such and such. And I was like, hi, such and such. Good to meet you. And I couldn't help but to think, did the elevator, did the closed elevator, did the seven by seven elevator force him to say hi to me? Like took him out, like just caught him by surprise, took him out of his comfort zone and he had to say hi to me? Unconscious bias or sometimes conscious bias. Anyway, think about that. Think about that. I mean, this is not, it's not just I'm black, he's white. This, this is wherever you're from. Think about when you've received this unconscious bias. I, I have so many of them. I have so many. I have the one where at the office, I say, hey, Jane. And Jane says, hey, Sean, how you doing? How's your daughters? They're adorable. And what'd you do with them this weekend? And I'm like, oh, it was great. We did this. We did that. Oh, that's awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Your, your work's great. And we love that you're here. Five minutes later, I am standing in front of the same building where Jane and I were just speaking and she comes downstairs for her cigarette break and I'm standing right there. And I'm like, Jane will not look my way. Hmm. Hey, 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 Jane. Huh, whoa, whoa, what's happening? Okay, we're outside in the street, what's happening? Jane, hey, it's Sean. Anyway, where does it come from when we don't, we, ju we just have these um, preconceived notions about people and what they're going to be like or what social media tells us they're like or what music tells us people might be like or what type of news coverage says what a certain person might be like. And then you talk to them and they're great. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe, hit the like button, and don't forget to hit the notification bell.